remember a very interesting story uh, where um, you know i had gone for a fitness test uh, quite early on uh, to to munich germany to the olympic training center and, and i had prepared for this fitness test uh, i had a very div- hard coach that time who was working with me very east uh, i finished this uh, fitness test and i thought i did pretty well you know i had worked hard for it and Five minutes after this fitness test, I met this coach Uwe, and he told uh, the the only comment that he told uh, he said was that you know even my grandmother could have done better than you. So <laughs> that, that's. Well, let's start a little bit at the beginning. Uh, I mean, tell us a little bit about how you decided to start shooting. Uh, and how did you get obsessed about about winning the way you did well i think uh, there i think neeraj and i have something in common i don't know if uh, he's heard my story but you know when i was a kid i actually hated i was a pata sir maine dekha i hated sport and my only talent really in in, in school was to miss the e classes at school i had i was very talented in finding very uh, interesting excuses to to miss anything that involved running around um i was in a boarding school and um, wasn't very happy there and but and i used to receive a letter every day uh, from my father almost every day and uh, that letter had one thing in common that i must play sport because i didn't really listen to him in boarding school and eventually got out of boarding school um but uh, when i was in in, in chandigarh uh, and was in a day school looking for a hobby i was introduced to my first shooting lesson uh, and i went there and uh, just to try it out to and i loved it because to be successful in this sport i just had to stand still uh, and there was no uh, running in, uh, running in board or, but that was the entry uh, but to be successful in it i had to also uh, really run around but that's how i started um two decades or so ago under a mango tree uh, in my coach's house uh, in chandigarh that was my start and we've come a long way from from somebody starting under a mango tree now mm-hmm. now kids Uh, started olympic level shooting ranges in different parts of this country so uh, sport has definitely grown over the last two decades but that was my that was my start uh, what was also very interesting i think um, was that you know as a kid i used to construct uh, airplane models with my with my dad growing up uh, and when i started shooting i i necessarily did not like the act of shooting but i i loved the various different parts of shooting i love the process of shooting and, and and bringing all the various elements together perhaps it it was from my lego days and from my car modeling days or airplane modeling days um, that's where the love for the sport started and of course uh, one thing led to the other the first goal was just to win a district competition that was my the purest goal that i had then of course greed started to come in a little bit as well uh, you know and then my I became very ambitious and, and very early on um, i started aiming high and i think at age 14 i wanted to be an olympian and at age 14 i wanted to set a very lofty goal for myself people around me thought i was completely mad and that was to win a gold medal at the olympic games uh, it was daunting no doubt about it uh, you know that was a very different era of indian sport lot of negativity around uh, uh, our participation at the olympics uh, but that's how i started off and uh, it was a fantastic journey and, and of course uh, the memories that i have from from that journey and, and the relationships that i built from that journey will stay with me forever and, and whatever i learned on the shooting range will hold me in good stead in life that was that was how the start was i mean did you enjoy training or did you think it's just something you have to do was it a chore to you i loved training uh, i was just i hated competing but i loved training uh, <laughs> competition was too tough for me it was too stressful mm-hmm. for me and i was not a naturally gifted athlete i wasn't naturally competitive by nature so competition was very hard for me it was painful but training i loved training i mean uh, that was what it was all about uh, uh, it was meditation for me I mean, when nobody was watching just to go out there and uh, you know perf- better my skill perfect my art and and, and to just get better um, that was the time i spent with my own self i mean uh, i i i learned so much about my own self just training and and that to me was 
the most fascinating aspect of my whole pursuit was what about the physical aspects of it did you enjoy those as well um i didn't enjoy it but it was something that uh, was a weakness which i learned to uh, uh which i converted into a strength um it was something that i needed to do uh, it was something uh, that my sport demanded of me if i wanted to be the best that i could be um and then, uh, well over a period of time i i did start to enjoy it because it became a routine and it was something that needed to be done but early on definitely not uh, i i i remember a very interesting story uh, where um, you know i'd gone for a fitness test uh, quite early on uh, to to munich germany to the olympic training center and, and i had prepared for this fitness test uh, i had a very div- hard coach that time who was working with me very east uh, i finished this uh, fitness test and i thought i did pretty well you know i had worked hard for it and Five minutes after this fitness test, I met this coach Uwe, and he told uh, the the only comment that he told uh, he said was that you know even my grandmother could have done better than you. So <laughs> that, that's never uh, <laughs> gotten out of my my head. But kept kept at it, kept working hard at it, and uh, eventually became better than his grandmother at least. <laughs>